Before we begin, this is part 3 of some previous videos I made. I highly suggest watching those before watching this one so you have context. Now, please enjoy. Human buildings are so wondrous. They're so... much compared to the laboratory. So many different designs compared to blankness in the lab. Your home on the outside is really nice, Doctor. Uh, I don't mean that the inside won't be nice. I'm just saying that specifically the outside. Yeah, you understand. <laughs> mm, what's that? Keys? Uh, what do those do? So, if I had a key, I wouldn't have been able to enter those rooms in the lab that I couldn't because the door wouldn't open when I tried? Hmm. <laughs> it looks so... lovely. The lab's atmosphere had become the one I found comfort in since it was all I knew, but... right now... I'm looking at a place that seems so much more comfortable than the laboratory. Lived in. Less... lonely and dark. And this is the place you were the whole time I was in the lab, growing? I would have liked this comfort. Especially growing with you around, Doctor. <laughs> All of these things look so soft. L like... Those... Uh, those things on the chairs in the lab. On the seat of them? Those are soft, too. These are for sitting and laying on, right? Hmm. A couch. Can... Can I sit on it? You look hesitant to let me. I get it. I could get it gross. Considering what you know about me... Or, at least, what I've told you, I couldn't be considered very sanitary to a human. It's okay, I, I won't touch anything. In the laboratory, I claimed the amoeba room. The one I was grown in as the room. The room I always resorted back to after doing my daily round of the laboratory. The one I slept on the counter of and went to relax in after eating. Spent time in when I was bored. Do humans have rooms like that? Oh. <laughs> I'm glad that I act like a human unintentionally sometimes. Makes me feel more connected to you. Like I'm not just an amoeba anymore. Hmm? Uh, what's your question? Well, I have already explained to you that I ate human bacteria. I eat the meat of the unresponsive human, and... That stores in my body until it decays completely. And I repeat. I don't really know how you'll be able to provide that food, but... I don't know how I discovered that that is what I need to live. I kind of just did. But... Oh, uh, doctor! 
Doctor, doctor, doctor. Um, when can I have sucrose water? I have you, and I have you saying that I, I can have some eventually. When can I have it? I miss it so much. <laughs> oh, please. Like, right now, right now. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I, I can't wait. Come on, let's go, let's go. I'm afraid to try it now that it's actually in my hands. What if it's not as good as I remember? What if I don't like it now? Uh, okay, okay, I'll, I'll try it. it. It's not as sweet as I remember it being, but... But it's so sweet, and... And it's so lovely. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you so much. This is so nice. I don't know what I would have done if you didn't let me come with you. Or if you agreed to stay with me at the lab. I'm glad that I came with you. I know that I won't regret it a single bit. Hey guys, Scratch here. This was probably the last part. That's, that's what I'm going to say. This was probably the last part of Amoeba. There's a high chance that I won't be making a part four. The next part will be one video with all of the parts in it. So look forward to that, I suppose. We just hit 10,000 subscribers as per uploading this. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. It means so fucking much. It's so cool. Um, I'm very happy that I have you guys. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. I love interacting with comments and you made this far, so why not subscribe? Join the Patreon and the Discord. And yeah. Bye-bye.